for further cooperation. A groundbreaking ceremony for an SCO judicial exchange and training center was held on Tuesday at the Shanghai University of Political Science and Law. Expected to be completed by 2016, the center will be a space for legal professionals from SCO member and observer countries to meet, learn and collaborate on research in multiple areas. The training center is very timely. It is a good first step for judicial cooperation between the SCO and China. The SCO was officially founded in 2001 as a way for China, Russia and other Eurasian countries to discuss political, economic and military cooperation. On Tuesday, the SCO signed a memorandum of understanding with SICA, bringing together two of the region's platforms focused on security. Six members of the SCO are also the members of SICA. Area of interests in almost all areas are common. China is the host of the SCO organization and also the chairman of SICA for two years. Therefore, I think it is very timely to sign uh, this important document before just the beginning of the SICA summit in Shanghai. It's hoped that the SCO, which has a stronger international profile, can share its experiences with SICA in areas such as counterterrorism. And with its new partnership with SCO, SICA will look to enter a new phase of its development and become a more action-oriented organization. The signing of memorandum can be looked at the start point of future cooperation between SCO and SICA. Each group has its own advantage in the region and more joint efforts are expected between the two groups to build a stable, peaceful and cooperative Asia. Shunjing, CCTV, Shanghai.